Maybe we should take a break. No, we have to see what happens next. We've got to keep watching. He's in the world. And he's coming. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me Sight 13. And this movie was directed by Nathan Foody and Tony Urban, and actually stars Nathan Foody as well, along with Layla Quinn and Kelly Ray, among others, of course. The story of this movie takes place at this insane asylum run by nuns, and they have this comatose patient who's like suddenly awake now, and they've been in their coma for, I think, 15 years or something. And 15 years ago, they did like this experiment at Site 13, which they call like a devil circle. And so they go into the devil circle and then they're transported into like a cosmic realm. And then they come back and they're like, oh my gosh, there's this cosmic God coming for us. And of course, you know, they go into a coma. And then now that he's awake, there is this psychiatrist who's also an ex-nun who tries to sort out, you know, what's going on? Is this actually something that's happening? And so... Is it? Well, for that, you gotta watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. So with this one, Leo actually kind of sent like a, a little blurb with it, and it actually took like 15 years to film this movie, and I can see why. They have this like found footage thing in the beginning, actually throughout the whole thing, because it's they're watching it, but it is filmed clearly like 15 years ago. It's kind of like this cosmic horror Blair Witch type of thing going on. But I guess they like never made that into a movie because it's probably only like 30 minutes or whatever. And then this one has the same actor and you can tell it's the same guy. He's lost like a bunch of weight because he's, you know, 15 years older as well. And so it's kind of this really interesting mix between this like home footage, found footage thing that was filmed so long ago. And then, of course, you know, our present day kind of real, you know, filming. And it's just so interesting that way to see that contrast. I think they are blended really well as well. And that's just one interesting thing about this movie, but there certainly are more. It is a cosmic horror, which is kind of like a Lovecraftian style of story. And with that, it does come with its own you know, problems. I think with like Lovecraft stories in general, you have to believe that these gods are real. Like that's just something you have to go into it. And so I went into it, you know, saying, oh, okay, these gods are real. That's kind of the, the premise, right, of, of being cosmic horror. There's nothing you can do about it, and they don't care that you can't do anything, right? And so it's really interesting how they actually kind of blend that into the story. I've never actually seen anything do it this well. I've seen other cosmic horror ones where they go into a sewer or go into a temple, and it's all different angles and whatnot. But this one... It's so interesting. It's so natural. It feels like this is like just like a story in our world. Like it is incredibly well done. Um, like I said, they blend those two things together. And then just how they all kind of hint at this cosmic horror throughout the whole thing. And then how it all happens at the end. I won't give it away, of course. But it is really well done for a cosmic horror. I've never seen one done this well. In addition, I thought the acting was really good as well or at least in the present day stuff. With the found footage stuff, it has that Blair Witch quality to it where they're kind of overacting and kind of just saying things. But that's the, you know, the style. And so this one with the present day stuff, really well done. You believe all the characters are worried. You believe they're, you know, stressed out. And all of that different stuff really helps you just go along with it and helps you get invested in these characters because they certainly have their own flaws. But, you know, it's really really well done on a variety of different fronts. And the last thing I would say in the good category is that even though it's like a low budget film, it doesn't feel that low budget. It's just like so well thought out, so well blended together that it was really like surprising for what it was. And if you turn it on, I think you'll be surprised as well. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this one. Well, with this one, the start is certainly harsh. I would say the opening credits take a long time and there's also like doesn't make sense especially if you like think about it in the context of the rest of the movie so as long as you can kind of like get through the opening credits I think you'll enjoy it it certainly you know starts to be a real movie after that so as long as you can get through you know the first 10 minutes or whatever 
you'll start to have fun and start really to get invested in it. So don't, you know, be turned off by, you know, what you're watching at the start. And the only other thing I would say about this one is that the insane asylum that's run by nuns, that seemed like the most unrealistic part of it all. I know it's like a cosmic horror with, you know, cosmic gods and whatever, but I had never heard of like an insane asylum like run by nuns. And so I looked it up. Apparently there was one at one time. Of course, it's like closed now. And then there are also psychiatrists as well. So I looked that up and there's a few psychiatrist nuns out there as well. And so I guess it's realistic, but I had just like never heard of it. So it was kind of the thing that was holding me back at the start. But I gotta say the nuns actually became like my favorite part of the whole movie. Like they don't follow the letter of the law completely. So they're actually like more human than you would expect. And so it was really interesting just to see them, you know, deal with this stuff and and how it all goes down as well. So yeah, the nuns certainly rocked this movie and, and made it a lot more interesting than it would be otherwise. As for my recommendation, well, if you are a Lovecraft fan, I've never seen it, it done so naturally. So this is certainly a must watch for you. If you are a found footage fan, I would say a maybe. It's not really about the found footage. I'm not sure where you can watch it or what you can stream it on, but you know, if you do see it one day, certainly consider pressing play on this one. As for my rating, well, I was certainly surprised by this one, so I'm going to give it the good score of 7. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.